Hi everyone, it's great to be able to welcome you all to Term 2. Even though it is a little bit strange not actually being at school all together to start the term, I know that our teachers have been working really hard to be organised for remote learning. This is going to be different for all of us, so we are going to need to be patient as we get used to learning this way. But the main thing is, as Mrs Sillsoy says, is that we are ready to learn. So think about what makes you ready to learn. I know that I like to have everything organised and ready to go. So that means that I make sure my pencil case is organised with all the things I need, having my iPad charged and ready to go, and most of all, that I have my workspace cleared of distractions. These are my non-negotiables when it comes to learning at home. When we are at school, our three school rules are really important because they help us to be ready to learn. Our school rules are just as important when we are learning remotely. Be safe, respectful and responsible are just a part of life. Tom's going to talk to you now about the value that we are all focusing on this week. Have a great week, everyone. And remember, when we're at home, we're ready to learn. Over to you, Tom. Thanks, Lucy. What a great message. I totally agree with Lucy about having some non-negotiables when we are learning from home. One of my non-negotiables is making sure that I have a break after each lesson especially if I have been working on the iPad. Always make sure that you have a break from the screen. This really helps to keep us being ready to learn throughout the day. The values that we are focusing on throughout weeks one and two are kindness and compassion. These two are really good values to start the term with. So how do we know if we are being kind and compassionate? It's really important to be kind to yourself, so plan to do something you enjoy every day. Mm, I think I will verse my family in a round of ping pong. Or take my dog for a walk. You can also show kindness to yourself by naming your personal strengths and qualities. If you're not sure what that means, ask your mum and dad what they think your strengths are. And see if you agree. Showing kindness and compassion for others is always important, but probably more so when we are spending so much time with the same people. This means that you are using kind words and actions like please and thank you. Care and compassion is also shown when you do a job or a task that helps someone out in your family. Mm, I suppose I could empty the dishwasher in the morning. Hey, don't forget what's coming up. Mother's Day. Showing kindness and compassion is one way you can start the planning for your very own special Mother's Day for your mum. Now, it's over to Mrs Sillis. Have a great week, everyone. Thanks, Lucy and Tom. Term two is about to begin and it's going to be different. But just like we do at school, I want you to get your body ready to take a deep breath in, let it out and listen to the sounds around you. What can you hear in the distance? What can you hear that's close up? There might be a man-made sound or a natural sound. As we begin today, we're going to acknowledge country and say our school prayer together. So today, we pay our respects to the Dharawal people. We acknowledge their living culture and its unique role that it plays in our community. We pay our respects to the elders past and present and those who will continue to guide us with their wisdom. Join in with me now as we say our school prayer together. And I want you to choose a word or a phrase, which is a group of words that you are going to concentrate on this week. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Loving God, let your compassion help me to love my neighbor. Let your compassion lead me to strengthen our community so that all are welcome. 
May your heart of compassion move me to see and to act so that indeed I do as Jesus did. I pray this as a good Samaritan through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Learning differently is going to mean that we won't always be with our teacher or our friends. And that's okay. We won't always be learning in our classroom or on our playground. And that's okay. Our school day will be different to what it usually is when we're at school. And that's okay. We all need to wait until we are able to come back to school together. Think about a time when you've had to wait for something. There are some really good strategies that we can use that help us when we are waiting. One is to breathe really deeply, filling our lungs up until they feel, feel like they're going to burst. And then to breathe out slowly, letting all of the air escape. This way of breathing can also help us to relax as well. Waiting for something to happen, working differently, or waiting for things to change means that we need to concentrate a little bit differently and learn in a new way. And this can be a challenge. Can you try this winking challenge to help you concentrate? You try winking with your left eye and click your right fingers and then swap just like this. So you try winking with your left eye and clicking with your right fingers. And then you swap. Try winking with your right eye and clicking with your left fingers. I want you to challenge, to challenge you to see how many winks you can do in a minute. There's going to be some things that we all need to work a little harder with. Things like making sure that you are always putting your best effort into your work. That you are cooperating with whoever is supervising you and remembering that they may need to do their work as well. Let's all work together to be ready to learn. This means that just like Lucy and Tom told us, you're prepared for learning each day. I wonder if you can work towards starting the day by yourself without too much help from mum or dad or the person supervising you and that you stick to your learning at home routine. Make sure that you are taking breaks from your work as well. Remember that learning can be done in many ways. When you are helping get dinner or lunch ready, think about all the counting that you can do. Or you might even be able to read the recipe to the cook that's in your house. Taking breaks from learning is really important as well. We want you to go outside and play lots and lots of different games. When I've been walking around my neighbourhood, I've seen lots of hopscotches drawn on the footpaths and that's a really good way to keep, take a break and keep active. Or you might want to go and shoot some hoops in the backyard. You could play with your toy cars in the garden or you could even build Lego just like we're seeing on Lego Masters at the moment. But I'm going to leave with you with a challenge this week. Each day I want you to record one thing that was good about the day. You might like to write it down or draw a picture of it. And at the end of the week, I'm going to ask you to share each of those drawings or those pieces of writing with someone in your house. I'm really looking forward over the next couple of weeks of hearing about all of the learning that you've been doing from home particularly when I speak to your teachers. Don't forget, we're always ready to learn. Have a great week, everyone.